So another thing uh, that you will need to know uh, in your syllabus is how to estimate uh, values for common quantities. So some of these uh, quantities uh, you can actually uh, memorize, mm -hmm. but some of them you can actually work it out by using a bit of common sense lah, and uh, experimenting with uh, weighing scale and all those. Lah. So whenever they ask you uh, typical questions like mass, like mass of an apple, you know, they've even asked like mass of a protractor, so mass of ruler and all those. So how do you find, uh, how do you estimate the mass? So if you have a, a top end balance in the lab, right? Mm. In the chemistry lab or whatever, physics lab, what you must do is you must try weighing different things in your hand using your hand how heavy it feels and then you put it on top end balance to see how heavy it is for example you take out your pen mm -hmm. you put it on top end balance and you say oh this is 10 gram oh I see this is how 10 gram feels like so you put it on your hand you weigh it put it on your hand feel it feel how 10 gram feels like then you take out your handphone and then you say okay you put it on top end balance you say oh this is 200 gram then you put it in your hand and you feel it so oh this is how 200 gram feels like mm -hmm. so you take different objects like for example ruler la, and all those mm -hmm. and heavier objects uh, like water bottle and all that. then you see how 1 kg feels like 100 gram feels like and all those so when they ask you for example mess on apple then you you try to recollect the last time you held an apple in your hand how heavy it felt so then you have a range of mass la. so usually it's not a, a fixed value only they'll give you a range because okay. you've got big apple small apple and all that right now but there are also other things that you can uh, memorize for example like density of water, density of oil, density of gas, all these values must be memorized. Mm. Alright, like density of gas is between 0.5 to 0.7 kilogram per meter cube. Density of oil is 900, density of water is 1000. Density of seawater, which is slightly more dense, is about 1030. Then there's also uh, things like frequencies of, of audible sound, the one you can hear, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Uh, human reaction time, or all this, or a speed of sound in the air, you know. But some people say, what about um, if I don't know? So if you don't know, then you can, you can sort of like try to figure out uh, stuff like, for example, number of joules of energy in one kilowatt hour, alright? Or what is the um, pressure due to depth of 10 meters? Mm -hmm. So all this, uh, you don't need to memorize because you know why? Uh, there are so many different things that you can ask. Uh, so some things that you don't memorize, you try to work it out. For example, if they ask you for pressure due to depth of 10 meters, so you try to remember the formula for pressure or in a liquid, which is P equals to? Formula Which is uh, specifically H -O -G. Yeah, H rho G. La. Then you will substitute the H as 10 meters. Mm -hmm. And uh, remember, you were supposed to memorize the density of um, of water, which is 1,000 right now. So yeah. that one you have to use 1,000. Mm -hmm. And G? 10. 10 or 9.81. Mm -hmm. Then you multiply, then you get around this uh, range. Uh. Okay, and other things like for for example like um, and the number of joules in one kilowatt hour. Mm -hmm. <coughs> now one kilowatt hour is a unit of energy. But how did they get kilowatt hour? Do you notice that kilowatt is a unit of what? It's not a unit of what, but what is the unit? I mean, kilowatt represents the unit of which quantity? Uh, kilowatt is for power. So you can take okay. kilowatt hour, that means power times time. That's why it's energy, because power times time is energy. So you want to find one kilowatt hour, so very uh, straightforward. So one kilowatt is 1000 watt times one hour, which is 60 minutes times 60 seconds. So that is how you get this calculation. All right, so some things you can calculate. Like thickness of a sheet of paper, this one you got to know. Okay, like you take out a piece of paper, you say, oh, you got a ruler next to you, this you know it's about point point one mm, you know, or, mm. or one mm if it's very thick paper lah, cardboard or whatever lah. Can it be one mm lah? One mm is too big. So see lah, depends on how thick is the cardboard or whatever. Okay. Lah. Okay? That's now sometimes they will give you some weird questions, uh, like estimate the volume of a person's head, which came out before lah. So how are you supposed to estimate the volume of a person's head, right? Now? So you assume your head is a sphere. But your head, of course, is not a sphere. Like, it's more like oval, right? Now. So you can measure the longest distance, and then uh, which is from top to bottom, and then shortest distance from side to side. Then you find the average and assume that the average is the radius. Then you use 4, 3, pi, r, q. That's why in the exam, everybody took out the ruler, started measuring their face. 
Mm-hmm. Alright, so you can work out some things like this, okay? okay.